Hi, I'm Jonathan, and welcome to my Scuba Newbie diving video blog. I wanted to kick this blog off with some videos I took whilst I was in Phuket in Thailand. I was there last month, and I jumped at the chance to try scuba diving in such fantastic scenery. I live in Finland, and visiting Thailand in December it's at least 30 degrees warmer. So for any of you Finns out there, I can highly recommend it. Scuba diving is amazing. You get to freely swim in three dimensions and you get to see some amazing wildlife really close up. Also, to capture some of my diving moments and because I love gadgets, I got GoPro's new Hero 4 Silver camera. With this diving case on, it was rated to 40 meters. So I was quite interested to put that to the test. To have safe dives and to get the most out of it, you need professional training. So to start my scuba in Thailand, I took Paddy's open water diver course. So hey, let's kick off some of the videos of that. Mask clearing is one of the key skills for the open water diver course. It's really important to practice this in case the mask gets caught on something during actual dives and comes off, so it's good to practice in advance. Here we found a shallow sandbank to stand on whilst we practice this skill. The idea here is to be able to remove your mask completely all the way off and then put it back on. And then of course you need to clear the water which is inside. So to do that, you push slightly on the top of your mask, creating a gap at the base of the mask. Then you breathe out through your nose. So as the mask covers both your nose and eyes, the air goes out through your nose and into the top of the mask and pushes water out the bottom. Out Nemo the clownfish which our dive group spotted. These great fish have a special symbiotic relationship with their host anemone. The clownfish feeds on undigested food from the anemone and the faeces which the fish produces provides nutrients back. What a really amazing fish! This is a really great example of being one with nature. Here you can swim through enormous shoals of fish. Check out how many there are. The fish didn't really seem to be bothered by me, but they did take notice of some of the other big fish there. Check this out. This is a leopard shark, so called due to the spots on its back. This one is about a meter and a half long. They're harmless to humans, but anyway, it's a good idea to keep your distance. It's so amazing to see a shark so close up. I wanted to finish off the introduction video with this clip of a green sea turtle. This was by far the highlight of my diving in Thailand. These turtles are quite surprisingly large in real life, typically growing up to a meter and a half in size. This one seemed particularly relaxed having a group of divers around. I wanted to finish with a huge thanks to rare divers in Phuket. Thanks to them I had a fantastic holiday, great diving and looking forward to do, doing some more diving soon. And hey, a big thanks to you for watching.